Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. Today we are going to be going manga shopping at Kinokuniya, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay everyone, so we just arrived at the manga section at Kinokuniya. Here is their mini LGBTQ section. They have it separated from the rest of the manga. It's always very difficult to remember that. But I saw the Apothecary Diaries, it looked like they had all of it. They had a lot of Attack on Titan and Berserk. Here is where they put their larger volumes that do not fit on the normal shelves. I saw the Noragami Omnibuses. Once again, I just don't really like them. I don't understand the point of them. I mean, I just don't see any benefit from them. Uh, I saw Blue Giant, Bungo Stray Dogs, uh, the case study of Vanitas manga. I really want to start it soon. The art is so beautiful and I don't really know what the story is about. I think it's like a detective type thing. If I'm wrong, please let me know. It looks beautiful. The art alone is enough for me to want to start the series. I saw the most recent release of Classmates, which is volume 6 Blanc. I'm a little bit sad that it is released in an omnibus as opposed to uh, two different volumes. I saw Crossplay Love, which is another fantastic, hilarious series. If you guys really want a series that'll make you laugh out loud, that is the one to get. There's Paradise Kiss. I also saw Records of Ragnarok and Rent a Girlfriend. I have no idea what that series is about. The title alone is very interesting to say the least. I saw Fire Force. I was really looking for a Food Wars since I wanted to get some more Food Wars manga, but I could not find any. I saw this series, Fly Me to the Moon. I always see this whenever I go shopping somewhere. I have no idea what it's about. I think it's a Shonen Jump series or just a Shonen series. They had Olive Given, which was away from the other Sublime series. I found them to be very odd. Um, I saw Hunter Hunter. They had some of the later volumes and some of the earlier volumes. I was looking for volume 18 and 19, but they did not have it, so I just passed on getting Hunter Hunter volumes. This is another series that really piques my interest that I would like to get at some point, but I don't know what it's about. I think one of you guys told me it's about like jewelry or gemstones or something like that, and that looks really cool. I saw a whole bunch of Komi Can't Communicate. I think they're up to like volume 22 these days. I honestly don't know how the series can go on for so long. I saw Tokyo Avengers, Tokyo Ghoul, To Your Eternity, and Vagabond. Uh, some more oversized volumes, and then they also had a lot of One Piece and Naruto. I also saw My Next Life as a Villainess, and there was just so much to look at, um, including Mashal. Adding on to that, I saw more uh, oversized volumes like Wand Dance. I really need to catch up on the series. I also saw Villains Are Destined to Die Volume 1, which is a fantastic manhwa series. You guys need to pick it up if you guys have not already. It is such a fantastic isekai uh, series with a really strong heroine. I also saw this Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting, which looked really interesting. I don't know what it's about. I'm guessing it's a slice of life comedy series based on the title. I saw The Promised Neverland and a whole bunch of One Punch Man. I also saw the Shaman King omnibuses, which look really cool, and they had a whole bunch of Spy Family as well. Going below that, I saw a whole bunch of Toilet Bound Hana Cocoon and their really big display of Demon Slayer. They also had some Kirby manga and some other series like Zelda and Yotsuba, as well as Pokemon. Here is their uh, Junji Ito section and their new releases. They had a new Blue Period volume and the Clear Moonlit Desk, which I have ordered. I am just so excited that the series has a physical release. They had a new Skip and Loafer volume that came out recently. And then I saw Yakuza Fiance, which is what I came here looking for. I am so, so beyond happy that it, this is finally getting an English release. I also saw Seaside Stranger Volume 5, which I did not know was coming out. So, of course, I, I snagged that as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I, ha I don't know if it's complete or not, but it's really good so far. Moving on to some of the merchandise that they had. Since this store has a whole bunch of merchandise, they have this wall full of Attack on Titan and Haikyuu keychains, stickers, I mean, you name it, they had it. They also had some JJK stuff. Here are some of the kind of figure arts and scale figures as well as look up uh, figures for series like Naruto and Jujutsu Kaisen. 
Moving on to the other section over here. This is all Haikyuu blind bags. There is just so many to go through. It could take hours if you guys really wanted to spend time here. They also had a whole bunch of Nendroids and a lot of them had these like 20 or like 30% off stickers on them, which is really cool to see them on sale. Then we have their really big Jujutsu Kaisen section as well as their My Hero Academia section which is also pretty large. Here is a whole bunch of their pop-up parades and they also have some scales. Here is their art book section. The art books are always so beautiful. I never really know the, a lot of the authors or illustrators for these art books since I don't really collect them, but I just am always blown away whenever I see them since I am a really big fan of art and I just really love to look at them and they're so beautiful. I saw the Jojo Onoko as well as some Tokyo Revengers items, the Black Butler, Wotokoi, and Banana Fish art books. And this one also really caught my eye. I think it caught my eye before a while ago. But yeah, they just had so many. Here's another blind bag section. This is all Spy Family merchandise. They have acrylic stands, minifigures, plushes. They had so much. Here's like a little bit more random. There's like ReZero and whatnot. Here is more miscellaneous. There was just so much going on in all of these. Um, yeah, they even had a whole bunch of Naruto merchandise, which is really cool since you normally don't really see Naruto merchandise, at least at my Kinokunias. So I thought that was really cool to see. And yeah, of course I had to pick up something. Moving over to the Japanese manga section here, we have a whole bunch of the new releases in Japanese. So we have like Chainsaw Man Volume 12, etc. I'm really curious to know when Viz is going to release uh, part two or going to start printing part two. I'm very curious to know. They have a whole bunch of titles like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Tokyo Avengers, and Spy Family in Japanese. Here is their light novel section. They have The Ascendance of a Bookworm. This, uh, they had some of the Naruto light novels as well as Mushoku Tensei, I think is how you say it, as well as Rising of the Shield Hero, some of Spider So What, um, and some MXTX novels. Yeah, they just had so many light novels. I'm not really a big light novel person, so I don't really know a lot of these titles unless they have like manga adaptations. Uh, so yeah, I also saw Overlord. Here is a close up on some of their more oversized volumes. They had a silent voice, Soul Eater, Sweat and Soap, the time that I got reincarnated as a slime. Uh, yeah, they just had so much to go through. It took a while for me to sift through everything. They also had Witch Hat Atelier and Zom 100. Here is a close up on their Pokemon section. I also saw a man and his cat. I'm surprised that the volume 5 never got fixed in terms of the misprint on the spine and how it does not have a number on it. I found it odd how the blue lock was over here, but yeah, after that, I headed out. Okay, everyone, so I just got back from shopping at Kinokuniya. You guys know I picked up a few things, of course, so let's get into the haul. Sadly, there weren't as many series or volumes that I was looking for this time. I was really looking for any volumes of Food Wars or like Yu Yu Hakusho or some volumes of Hunter x Hunter that I was missing. Um, they had some of the later on volumes of Hunter x Hunter, but none of the ones that I was really wanting that were like closer because I really wanted 18 or 19. So I only got a few things, but let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, the first volume of manga that I got was what I went there for, which was Yakuza Fiancé or Raizo Tanegai. If you guys know me, you guys, uh, if you guys have watched any of my videos, you guys probably know that I absolutely adore uh, Yakuza Fiancé so much. I have a whole shrine, like a, literally a whole shelf dedicated to my Raizo Tanegai uh, addiction. So I am so excited that we finally have an English printing. Um, if you guys really want a strong female protagonist, some fighting, some danger, some Yakuza elements, this is, this is the one, I mean, it's so good. So, so freaking good. I love it so much. Um, yeah, it was a little expensive. It was $14.99. Uh, yeah, here's what it looks like. I believe the first few pages are in color. Like, look how nice this is. Like, I just, this is a really nice addition. Like, look at this artwork. Is this not, like, the most beautiful thing you guys have ever seen? Like, I, I'm just in awe. I just love them. I just love the main character so much. Uh, Yoshino, she is like my icon. I love her. I love her so much. Okay, but enough gushing about this series. 
Uh, the reason why I picked it up from Kinokuniya in particular and waited until the day that it got released, technically the day after it got released, um, was because if you got it at Kinokuniya, you got it with the free shikishi board and I love uh, shikishi boards and as you guys know, like I said, I have a shrine and I definitely need to be adding this to the shrine. Um, yeah, so it's free with purchase. Uh, I really love Kinokuniya and how they do promotions like that. Um, I think it's a really nice way to do it rather than just having like a special edition of the book. How you actually get like a little thing out of it. And I really love how this is like the pink foil on the edge. And like, ah, I've been waiting, uh, holding off on getting any merchandise of this art in particular. Because I've been hoping to get something of it for a good deal. And boom, free. Oh my goodness, like look at Kirishima and Yoshino. Because you can act. It's like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. Okay, so moving on, the next volume of manga that I picked up was Seaside Stranger Volume 5. I honestly had no idea this was coming out, so when I saw it there, I had to snag it. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good series so far. I've only read like the first two volumes. I have all that is out. I'm just a little bit behind. It's like a pretty good series. It's like, okay, I'll give it like a, I don't know, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. It's a pretty good, wholesome, cute, minute-like thing. Okay. How do I open this? Okay, I'll get back to you guys after I open this up. But yeah, Suicide Changer, it's really nice because not many BL series or LGBTQ plus series go on for more than just like one or two volumes. So it's nice to see a series that is a little bit longer. Um, yeah, the artwork is really cute and I'm excited to get into this. Yeah, I honestly, I don't know if it's complete or not or how many volumes there are. If you guys know, please let me know down below in the description or in the comment section because I really want to know how many volumes are in the series. But yeah. So I just picked it up. It was $13.99, so once again, a little bit pricier, but you know, really worth it. And this is a really great series. Okay, now moving on to the last thing I got, which was this Naruto Shippuden uh, acrylic stand blind bag. You never really see any Naruto acrylic blind bags or just any Naruto related blind bag or acrylic stand merchandise at Kinokuniya. So when I saw this, I had to snag one. Um, I tried to limit myself to only getting one thing um, or one certain character uh, from a certain line or set of artwork. So like for instance, if I really love uh, a, a artwork and there's buttons and can, if there's buttons, uh, acrylic keychains and acrylic stands, I only allow myself to get one of those types, not all three. So I could either get the acrylic keychain, the acrylic stand, or the can badge. So yeah, let's see who I get. I'm hoping for Itachi as always, but I'd be really cool with like Naruto or Sasuke as well. Um, okay, we have the little base, so cute. And... Oh my god, look how cute he is! He's like in this chibi art style, wearing some traditional clothing. Oh my god, he is adorable. I'm so excited to add him to my little Itachi collection on my shelf. So here is Itachi all set up. I'm absolutely in love with him. So here's everything that I got on today's video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!